guys, this is Sharice Loving Live. I just want to come and talk with y'all today. Um, I've been on this 30 day challenge with no meat. Today I have um, Asian inspired food that I am homemade. I have rice noodles with kale, a little bit of cabbage, and some chili Thai sauce. Um, and I do have a video on how I made that as well. <laughs> But I mean, I'm new to YouTube blogging um, and I've only been blogging for about two weeks and I have faced some challenges already. Um, one of the challenges I've already faced is I thought people who were close to me would be a little bit more supportive, especially friends and family members. But I guess because I'm the type that's always trying to do something, they're not taking me seriously. They're probably like, oh, Sharice is always doing something new. This is just going to be a phase. But no, this is something that I really want to do. But guys, you just got to remember, no matter what, if nobody else believes in you, believe in yourself because that's what really matters. But I have been getting a lot of support from people who don't even know me. I've joined some vloggers um, groups on Facebook and there's a lot of new vloggers on there and they're really giving a lot of advice and also some seasoned vloggers on there that are giving a lot of advice it's just a really good community to help when you're going through um, because it can be stressful when you're vlogging especially if you have any negative comments coming your way enough about that on to my 30 day challenge so I decided to do 30 day challenge because sometimes I can eat way too much meat and I'm doing this as a kickstart but I'm really making a life change um, for 30 days I'm not eating any meat at all and mainly for the rest of my life I'm going to try to eat no meat on Mondays through Thursdays and then on the weekends Friday Saturday Sunday I will eat um, meat and other things but I'm trying to be healthier as a whole, not just lose weight. Yes, I do have a goal, but my goal is for life as well. Um, my long-term goal, guys, is to lose 100 pounds within one year. Yes, that's been challenging, um, but I do have a lot of support with that. My short-term goal within the 30-day challenge is I hope to lose 20 pounds. So far, that's been a little discouraging. The first week, I lost six pounds. But then the second week, I kind of gained a little bit, I guess, because the first week I really didn't eat any starches at all. I was mainly eating nothing but fruits and vegetables. And the second week, I was eating more of the rice and noodles and things. Plus, um, they say sometimes you do gain weight even when you're being healthy because you gain muscle and you're losing fat. And you know, muscle weighs more than fat. So maybe that's a little bit that's happening. And I've probably been retaining water because I haven't been drinking. I need to drink some water now. As much water as I should have. Because the first week I was trying to drink a gallon a day. And the second week I've barely been getting two to three bottles of water. There's Asian food. Expired Asian food. It's really good. Um, I usually make it with cabbage. But today I started, decided to... I meant not today. Yesterday I actually made this and I ate it today. But today I decided to make it with kale just to give it a little twist. But if you guys ever want to know more about me, hit me up. Got any advice? Hit me up. I do hate constructive citizen criticism. I'm just learning. I'm, I just started two weeks ago. Any advice about life? Do I know where we're at, baby? You know, you know you gonna cut that. Now this is a dragon fruit. Now this is gonna be interesting because I've eaten dragon fruit already prepared, but I've never eaten a fresh dragon fruit. Usually when I eat dragon fruit, it's in um like the Del Monte fruit cups where it's already chopped into pieces or something that's just dragon fruit flavored, like a juice or a muffin. So guys, I don't even know how to cut this. I bought it from Publix. I probably should have got on YouTube and <laughs> everything is on YouTube. I probably should have got on YouTube and Google how to cut so, it. Hi guys, so, today we're gonna make candy slime. Oh, that looks nice. 
<laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. So, guys. I should have got a YouTube need... bimbo. Oh, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of a kiwi. So, you want to taste a piece, kiwi? Let me give you a little piece because you don't like to eat stuff. Here you go. Thank you. This tastes a lot like a kiwi. Mm. I don't know if it's just this one particular <laughs> fruit I bought in particular or dragon fruits as a whole. It tastes like a kiwi, but it's not as sweet as a kiwi. Kind of has more of a tart taste to it. It looks like a it's strawberry. Good, I think I'm going to buy some more. God, so this is not... They're usually sweeter when I have them in the cups, but I guess because it's all so the added sugar, sweet. that's not good for you. But this third week, um, today is Saturday, so starting Monday, I'm going to try to get back how I was the first week so I can get closer to losing, to my goal of losing 20 pounds. I'm going to go back to the fruit and veggies. So things I was eating was grapefruits. Man, I love grapefruit. Um, pineapples, collard greens, cabbages. No, I really was just eating mostly fruits and vegetables. This second week, I was eating rice, I was eating noodles, a lot of potatoes, which that's a vegetable, but it's starchy and I ate too much of it. And I even, I even ate some french fries some days, guys. But that's okay, because this is a life change. I'm not going to eat everything healthy the rest of my life, but I want to try to make as many healthy decisions as I can. Hey guys, thank you for watching Sharice Loving Life. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Again, thanks for watching.